What's good, YouTube? My name's Elliot. You may know me as the Immature Student. And today, we're going to be talking about all the books I've read so far in 2019. When is it? It's March. So, these books... Spoiler, it's not all of this book. Uh, and then two other books, which were library books, and I've taken them back. So, uh, that's one of the reasons I decided to make this video now before I kind of charity shop any more books or have to return things to libraries, etc. So, yeah, just a brief chat about all the books I've read so far. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I had never read this book before. Uh, obviously, it's a kind of a classic. It's widely accepted as one of the first science fiction books ever written. And I kind of enjoyed it. A lot of the language is quite archaic now. Um, and there are some views <laughs> expressed in it which are definitely archaic now. But as far as a, as a book, it was enjoyable. It, it's Frankenstein, right? I don't need to say anything else about that. Most people probably already read it. If you haven't and you like big scary monsters and uh, kind of sci-fi science things, but not hard sci-fi, because that's definitely not hard sci-fi, then... Um, give it a read, I guess. The Massacre of Mankind by Stephen Baxter. This is a spiritual successor to War of the Worlds. It was authorised by the H.G. Wells estate, so although H.G. Wells did not write it, it is officially what happens after the end of the first War of the Worlds book. That book I kind of enjoyed. It was okay. Uh, if you are a War of the Worlds super fan and you just want more tripod action... I would check it out, but otherwise I'd probably steer clear as just a generic alien invasion sci-fi. It ain't nothing special. Lullaby by Leila Slamani, you guys have probably seen. I've done an entire book review on this book. Um, I thought it was excellent. I don't really... I've never read a thriller before this one, and I might not ever again, because <laughs> I don't really like thrillers. But all the discussions on class and Marxism and the bourgeois and the proletariat and all that stuff... Yes, I loved it for that reason, and it's short. It was a quick read. It's only like, I think it's less than 300 pages, so it's a couple of days read, really, um, and, and pretty good. Sally Rooney, Conversations with Friends, which I have also done a book review of, um, which I think would have been released the week before this video was released. Um, so yes, I'm filming those two on the same day. Uh, again, I really enjoyed this book. That book got a lot of good press, and her sequel, Normal People, um, is likewise getting good reviews, but I haven't bought that yet, because well, I just haven't bought it yet, because I have lots of things on my shelf, which I haven't read yet. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's first person, which isn't normally my go-to. I prefer third person stories, just personally. Um, but I enjoy the lack of dialogue tags. It's a pretty cool read. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Sorry, covering her name up there. Um, yeah, this was a pretty big deal when it came out, which I don't even think was that long ago. I'm going to check. Maybe it was like 2017 or something. Uh, bu 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 first published 2018, so very new. And it was a pretty big deal when it came out, especially in America. Um, it obviously centres around kind of... Or it's been called the Black Lives Matter novel. Um... I don't know if Angie Thomas <laughs> wants it to be that or not, but it centres around uh, the experiences of a, uh, a young black girl living in, um, quote-unquote, the hood in America um, and kind of dealing with the double life of going to a posh school, mainly uh, with, with rich white kids in it and living in the hood where there's guns and crime and bad stuff. Um, it's, it's a good read. Um it's YA, so it is quite simplistic. That's the only thing I'd say. Like, it's really long. Uh, I guess it's not that long because it's quite a big font, but it's like 400 pages, I think, something like that. 420-odd pages. Um, so it's pretty long, and I think a lot of the chapters could have been cut out. I think it could have been condensed into a much more powerful volume. And because it's YA, it wears everything on its sleeve, so there's nothing kind of hidden under the surface in the book for you to find. It is about what it's about and you either like it or you don't like it. There's not really any subtext that I could find or that I'm aware of in that book. But if you like YA and you like guns and crime, not you like guns and crime, you like books about guns and crime, 
then, you know, give it a bish bash bosh. The Girls by Emma Klein. This is another one that's had pretty critical acclaim. Um, I really enjoyed this. Uh, so it's a kind of um, fictionalised account of someone living with the kind of cult that I believe it was Ted Bundy made. I think I'm right in saying it. So the character's not called Ted Bundy in this, and it's, it's not based on real people, uh, apart from the main character. I think his name is Russell in this. Is kind of based on Ted Bundy, I believe. Um, but it's very good. It's pretty gruesome in places. Um, but it's just one of those books that's just beautifully written, you know. Um, again, there's not a lot of subtext or anything, really, I don't think. Maybe I did think there was just after I finished reading it, and I can't remember now. Um, but I don't think there's an awful lot. But it's just beautifully written. It's it's tense and kind of from page three hundred until the end. Um, it is just tension, 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 just building, building, building until you get to the climax. Really good. Um, I had a couple of problems with it. Just in some of the chapters are based in the future away from what's actually happening in the mainstay of the story and I don't really see the point of them I don't think they add anything so I think they could have been cut but maybe I missed the point so uh, pretty good pretty good Call Me By Your Name by Andre I believe it's pronounced Asiman but it could be Akib it's probably Asiman I think it's Asiman uh, so yeah it's a pretty pretty good story obviously a lot of people will have seen the film if they haven't read the book um, it is a very intense love story about a young guy, I think he's 17, and then an older guy who's like 23, and they fall in love, and it's all romantic and obsessive, and um, it's kind of cool. It's it's a good story, right? Um, there are some interesting scenes within this book, so maybe don't read it if you are a faint of heart and don't like reading about kind of masturbation and stuff, but... Uh, but otherwise, it's it's a well-written book, and it's a very good, if intense, love story. And then to finish off here, this beast of a book, uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, da -da -da, by Douglas Adams. Uh, so this book contains a whole trilogy of five. As you can see, I've read the first, I want to say it's just the first two now, I believe it is. Yeah, so I've read the first two. The next one to read is Life, the Universe, and Everything, uh, which is book three. Um... I think. I want to say that's right. I'm sure that's right. Yeah, I think I've only read two. Um, so, yeah, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, which I believe is book two, is what I read this year. I read um, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is the first book. I want to double check that's right. Yeah, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is the first book which I read at the end of last year. Restaurant at the End of the Universe, I read this year. Uh, Life of the Universe and Everything is Next, and then all the rest. And I want to work my way through that, but it's so it's it's not just one novel so um i don't want to read the whole thing in a series because i like to get a broad uh kind of feel of the literary landscape while i'm studying writing um so i read one and then i go and read something else so i'm currently uh just over halfway through the trouble with goats and sheep by joanna cannon who i actually met uh just after the book came out so it's pretty cool to finally actually read the book um, which I'm enjoying, and I will do a excuse me, I will do a video about that soon. I've also read some short stories, and the two books that I don't have here, I read the play Macbeth um, because I needed to do that for a drama module at university, uh, which I actually just read in like three hours because it's a play, so it takes as long to read as it does to watch, and there's a siren just to mess up the soundscape of the video, and also uh, discourse analysis at toolkit by, I think it was by a bit James G, and obviously that's not a novel, that was for university, but I did read cover to cover. So there you go, uh, those are the books I've read so far this year, I'm maybe slightly behind my target to read 50 books this year, but I think I'm doing pretty well. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you want to see, peace and love, and I'll see you guys in the next one.